greet everyone with the peace of the Lord Jesus. I invite those that can to stand up so we can read the word of the Lord. Is in the book of Revelations, chapter 1. Revelations 1. Revelations 1, 5 and 6. Before we de read, read the text, we are going to read our revelation that the Lord has given us as we were praying for the service. The Lord has manifested through a spiritual gift. It was, God says that the beginning of the service, uh, there was... Um, an exam that was, um, it's like an endoscopy entered through the mouth and uh, uh, the uh, bacteria were detected in our body and was causing damage to our body, removing the resistance of the body. And it was applied in each one of us, an anti -doct. And uh, the fellowship was restored and the bacteria were removed, removed from us. Amen. We're going to read in Revelations 1, verse 5, 5 and 6. And from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn of from the dead, and the ruler over the kings of the earth, to him who loved us, and washed us from our sins with his own blood and has made us kings and priests to his God and Father. To him be glory and domination forever and ever. Amen. Lord, we plead to you that there may be a ministration of your angels as we meditate on your word and that it may be able to reach our hearts and everything that may cause us any kind of um, hindrance may be removed through the blood of Jesus and may the Lord bring his life upon us. Manifest your power here. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. The church may be seated. Our brethren who has followed the Sunday school in this church or in other church of the uh, Maranatha we have been studying the book of Revelations and we have been able to reach a, a little more of uh, understanding of what are the revelations of the Lord for the end of days. And here the revelation of the Lord, Jesus says at the beginning, the revelation of the Jesus Christ which God have gave him to show his servants things which must shortly take place. And he sent and signified it by his angel to his servant John. John was the one who wrote the book. John was one of, one of the apostles. He is the one who leaned his head on Jesus' uh, chest. He was close to Jesus. He was concerned about being close to Jesus. His act of uh, inclining his head was um, making reference to the fact that Jesus had no place to incline his head, but he embraced John. And all the afflictions and pains of Jesus, even Jesus went through all this. Um, um, Jesus wanted John to feel the power of Jesus to embrace him. And this verse speaks of, of the blood of Jesus that is able to purify us from our sins. If we believe that Jesus died and if he, he is the only resource for us to come to God. There is no other mediator. No one comes to the Father but through me. And when we recognize Jesus as man and he gave himself for our sins, we have our sins forgiven and we leave the old life and begin to live in the newness of life. And uh, the objective of each service is nothing more than less to, than to 
proclaim Jesus. Jesus died, and but he's alive among us, and he's operating. And then signs and wonders of Jesus there are happening every moment, everywhere in the world. And the church, the pur purpose of the church is to prepare the gir the church for the rapture. And uh, at one point, some, uh, they asked Jesus what was necessary for for us to be able to. Uh, achieve salvation. What was impossible for man is possible for God. Our um, role is to come close to God, like John did. He inclined his head. The head is the place where there are the most conflicts in man's life. Today we live in a world where people are going through depression and many situations, even trying to put an end to their lives because in their minds they allow many things to happen but they forget that the best thing that they can fill their minds is the word of the Lord the word of the Lord is an advice for each situation of our lives and the Lord wants to give us advice and cannot advise us at home or at work when we are praying we have been praying for our co-workers uh, this month and the Bible speaks of this the ones that that has to um, respect his employer as his uh, Lord and uh, the, the, the owner of the business has to uh, respect his employee like a brother. Uh, the Lord teaches uh, how, to, how the owner and the employee of a company to behave and if you seek in the Bible, you find a lot of good advice. And the objective of God is that we be happy. Everything that the world wants is to be happy. But when John, uh, when you come close to God, like John, he receives a lot, lot, many blessings. But when he goes away from God, he goes through trials and things go through his mind that want to. Uh, can lead him to death. The enemy came to kill, destroy, and steal. Jesus, but Jesus is the path, truth, and life. Nobody goes to the Father but through me. And this is what Jesus wants to do for us. And here, when we read this text, the one that loves us, Jesus loves us, each one of us. That's why we are all here. And in his blood, he washed us of our sins and this washing of our sins is something that no man can do for us but when we come to him and we confess our sins he's just to, to forgive us that's why he said go and sin no more Jesus does not want to forgive our sins and that uh, allow us to remain in the same situation but he says go and sin no more and when we follow uh, the advice of the Lord and he begins to receive great blessings and the word also says that he made us kings and priests for God and his father to him in all the glory and might for evermore amen and this word then we that we said here kings and priests the priest was the one who entered in the presence of God he entered and on behalf of uh, the Jewish people and if the priest was in sin he was killed inside of the Holy of Holies inside of the tabernacle and there nobody could enter into the Holy of Holies and the priest had a rope tied to him and if he died the, the other priest would remove him from the Holy of Holies only the um, high priest could enter into the Holy Holies and when Jesus died uh, the Bible speaks that the, the veil of the tabernacle was ripped from top to bottom and the Lord has opened up for us the entire eternity and today each one of us can have direct access to God the blood of Jesus gives us the means to come close to God to be in the presence of our God and see there our sins being forgiven the priest is the one who interceded for his people, the one who pleaded for forgiveness, the one who would bring the sacrifice in the presence of the, fa of the Father. And God wants us to act in the same way. Those that accepted Jesus have 
all the means to come into the presence of, of God as, as in the same way that the priest would enter into the presence of God. We have the means to be purified through the blood of Jesus. We have the means to be daring. And King speaks of authority. When we see many that passed throughout the trajectory of the Bible, we can mention uh, the example of Daniel. Daniel, he went through a situation, and there all of those that were around him could not know the dream of uh, the king Nebuchadnezzar, and he wanted, he didn't remember this the dream, and he also wanted the interpretation. So Daniel asked for a little time, and he went to pray. And as he was praying to God, God gave him a dream, showing him that the dream that the king Nebuchadnezzar had, and also the meaning of the dream, was which was the passing of the kingdoms, and clarified everything that was perturbing the king. And there Daniel was used, and he had this role. He communicated to his. Uh, friends, Cedric, Meshach, and Abednego, and to pray, and the result came. And today, in the New Testament, we remember uh, Peter. And when Peter was in prison, the church was continually praying for Peter, and Peter was delivered from prison. In our days also, we can say that we have experiences here in the church, and the Lord has given us authority to pray for him and have answered to our prayers. And sometimes we don't understand. We think that the things of God are loose. But what the Lord wants to show us here in the Old Testament and the New Testament, and the, the God that is acting among us today is a God that is a provider, a God that uh, operates beyond our expectations. And I also remember experience of a young man. He was uh, involved in a um, vehicle uh, accident with his vehicle. He was working, he was very tired in a city in Brazil. He's, he was involved in an accident and he uh, ended up uh, going out of the road and hit a tree. He was um, unconscious and uh, the church began to pray. Uh, they, they closed the the street and the the bridge of the city so the ambulance would go and he was um, helped and the church gathered and they prayed and that situation of that bro brother was very serious all the doctors all the the pastors uh, there were also doctors they came to the conclusion that this young man was going to be a vegetable for the rest of his life but the church would never stop praying and the pastors were, uh, were also praying but sometimes we are confronted with situations and even with we I mean, think that God cannot change the, the picture and there was a small group that would make a visit every week to this brother every week he received a visit and the brethren would go and visit and visit and there came a day in which God gave a revelation to one of the brethren. They were praying, and as they were leaving the visitation, they entered into the car, and one of the brothers said, let's consult about a revelation that was given. They didn't say anything to their family, and their revelation was from the Lord, and the Lord had s told the following, that he was going to speak. That person that was... Um, uh, the doctor said it would be a vegetable. He was going to go back to speaking, and it was something that nobody believed. And even the brethren, they were happy with that revelation, everything. He said, maybe uh, five years, five years, one year, ten years. And very well, that same week, the mother of that young man called to the brethren that were visiting and said, My son has. He started to give him sign. He began to s speak a couple of words, very small words, but he began to speak. My brother, the Lord has made us kings and priests. The king uh, is the one who determines who is going to live or die, what is going to happen. If you are filled with the Holy Spirit, if you accepted Jesus in our prayer, the church, it behaves in this way. The church seeks the Lord and pray, and the Lord acts because of His mercy. It's not because we deserve any blessing. 
but the Lord has shown in the Old Testament, uh, the Lord has, we sh have shown in the New Testament the situation of Peter and what God has done in nowadays. This man not only speaks, but began to speak, of course, with his limitations, but if you think about uh, uh, his situation, it was going to be a vegetable for the rest of his life. It is a, a source of glorification in the name of the Lord. The Lord has given the means to the church to intercede, to have authority of the Spirit, to come close to the Father and see the miracle happening. In the same way that Pe and when Peter was in prison, he, when he arrived, th they were gathered. Peter came close. Many didn't believe. They thought that it was the situation was not real because Peter was going to be killed the following day, and Daniel was going to also be killed on the following day if he was not able to interpret the interpret the dream. And, if he, and also, if he if we are remain silent in in front of this world, we will receive that. But the Lord has opened up our mouth, not for our glory, but the Lord has used us to bless our co-workers, those that are around us. It's not a blessing only for us to be vain, but so God can manifest in our lives and we may glorify the Lord for His deeds. And the purpose of God is to save men and to deliver men from death, not to condemn men to death. And we are seeing in this book that John saw wonderful things. The Lord wants to reveal to each one of us. He wants to that each one of us see the mysteries of God. The Lord is revealing to the hearts everything that is around us. And the objective of God is to use us every day with more and more power. In the same way that He used in the past, is using people, uh, but you may say, Lord, I never had an experience like this, and I'm in affliction, I have many problems, and I don't know how to, oh, I will be able to overcome this. But when we place our supplication in God's altar, when we, when we use the means of grace, of um, fasting, and going our early dawn service, we see a miracle. We see the hand of God uh, upon us to bless us. The Lord also sh has shown tonight that there is a woman. She's going to difficult trials, and she thought that the hand of God w was were not blessing her. Uh, she thought that God had forsaken her. But this woman that uh, is seeing the situation, the Lord is revealed. My hands are uh, upon you to bless you. Sometimes we go through trials and we think that this is our end, but the Lord is faithful. If we are unfaithful, He remains faithful. The Lord is our strength. Tell to the weak, I am strong. The word of the Lord is the following. Our strength is not in us. Our strength comes from eternity. It's the word of the Lord that we come and meditate on. What we hear from the testimony of a brother. And this morning we're, we were here on early dawn. The Lord has manifested among us. He spoke to us. And we left a group, left to um, have a breakfast together. And each one was sharing an experience of what God has done in our lives. So the servant of the Lord, the servant of the Lord happens at every instant. The joy of being with the brethren, it happens at every moment. When we uh, gather, we have the victories of the Lord to tell because the Lord has made us kings and priests. The authority that we have is not ours, it's God's. It is upon us if, uh, for as long as we remain dependent on God, for as long as we can see the salvation of Jesus uh, on the life of the needed, for the honor and glory of His name. There's another revelation and th which says, there's a woman that came here and she was crying a lot and she was saying, I cannot handle anymore. And the Lord was putting putting on her heart a medication and the Lord was saying that it was giving her a blessing that was going to bring a victory to the the matter that she was bringing to the presence of the Lord. And as soon as she heard this spiritual gift, she felt that the Lord was taking care of her. My brethren, sometimes we go through situations, sometimes the Lord wants us closer to Him at His feet. Uh, sometimes 
we hear from the Lord, sometimes we walk of, w away from God because we think that we don't have the means. But the Lord is the one that, who gives us the means to speak. If you, if you are unsure, plead to the Lord and open up the Bible and say, Lord, I'm unsure. Use the Bible. As you read the Bible, you will find out how much the Lord wants to bless us, how much God wants to give us experiences, because it is in this way that the church walks. The Word of the Lord is a, a living uh, food for us, and He wants us to understand each one of us the same way that John understood that He made us kings and priests. We can enter into the presence of the Father and say, I failed, forgive my sin. If you saw that a brother failed, uh, pray to the, to him, forgive uh, my brother. He's walking away from you. But we are here as priests. We see the need of one another and we pray for one another. And the Lord is conducting towards eternity. You, Lord, give us authority of the Spirit. And Jesus, when he departed, he said that we will see greater things. And there the prophet Elijah and Elisha, they asked double portion of the Holy Spirit. And what the Lord has done among us, what, what the Lord is doing among us is always greater than what God has done in the past. What the Lord wants to do with us is that we can taste of His power and we know of His blessings and we have all the authority in His Spirit to, to act on His behalf and collect all the blessings He has for us. Let's sing a song. 1108. Let's sing this song. Glory to Jesus. God loved the world in such a way. Glory to Jesus.
The church will stand up. Glory to Jesus. Now we're going to have a word of glorification to the Lord. We want to glorify you for another day in your presence, Lord, for this wonderful day. Would you came to your house to praise your name, bless every life that entered here. May we make us um, sensitive to your voice, take us uh, to uh, the path to eternity, which is our greatest objective. We we'll praise you for everything that I have done in your life and you ought to do. Amen. Lord, we exalt you and plead that you may um, allow us, to, each one of us, to incline our heads on your chest so we can hear our revelations and that this uh, word may be a blessing to our lives and it may remain inside of us and that we may continue to um, leave us kings and priests not like the world lives but the one that is humbled we are humiliated by the world the ones who s choose to serve the Lord many times you are humiliated but we know that the Lord is the one who exalts us the, the Lord is the one who places us in this position are kings and priests so we can have our sins forgiven so we can have authority of the spirit so those that are going through infirmity be cured uh, see the need of this church the brethren that need uh, uh, need a spiritual cure and physical cure we, we want to see with our own eyes what you have done on our behalf we also want to remember that sister is close to here has um, a son who is ill there is an infirmity upon her, a, a small child. We plead to you, Lord, that your angel may be with her to give her this victory. We know that we believe that you are to operate beyond that we, what we expect. Because for you, there is no distance and nothing that will prevent your action. We place ourselves here as a pendant to you, operate a miracle to us, giving a a physical and spiritual cure, Lord, like uh, you have shown through the spiritual gift, that we may leave this place in a much better way compared to the way we entered. We want to uh, want to ask you that you may bless those that uh, there are visiting us, that there may be an understanding of salvation. We pray in the name of Jesus. If anyone wants uh, prayer, we are here at your disposal.